Hello everyone, Lee G8512 here. Uh, this is something I was not going to get uh, from The Crimes of Grindelwald, but after seeing the movie I realised I had to because it's pretty important to the story. I'll, well, it'll be more important to the story later on, I think. There's three more movies planned. This is probably going to be a big plot point in a few of them. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I thought I would unbox it. You, you'll, know, you'll know what it is from clicking on the title. It is, unless it's completely wrong, this is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Uh, okay, let's, I thought the box was going to be a bit bigger. Let's have a look. Now this is Grindelwald's pendant from the pen of Crimes of Grindelwald, Wald, Wald. And I love the box here. I bought this directly from Noble Collection. Now. Here we have Grindelwald's Pendant. I love the box, obviously the style of Deathly Hallows. Um, you'll find out more after, after a little while I will be going to spoiler territory just to give this item some context. So, prop replica pendant includes a 26 inch chain. So, and it, it's, it's, it's very, very nice. So I wonder, does this just pop off? Right, let's just focus, focus up here. Does this just pop off the top? Or does it not? I'm probably going to rip it open right now. Oh, I don't like. I don't want to rip the thing. I don't want to rip off the. I'm going to have to right now. What if I just? Does this come out? I mean, it would, but it's starting to rip already. Right, I'm just going to rip it. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. Right. Oh, this is very nice. It's very pretty. So on the back we have Fantastic Beast the Crimes of Grindelwald. Vald. Vald. Whatever. Um very, very pretty. So I try not to reflect it too much because it's very reflective of the plastic. So uh let's crack this open and see if we can well, I'm gonna see if I can actually open it. Uh okay, so this is the actual lid. Okay, sorry, I'm being stupid today. Maybe this is the. Oh my god, I, I made no difference. <laughs> I did nothing. So, I saw this. This was available on the Noble Collection website for a while, and I didn't think I was actually going to get it um, because I, did, I thought it was going to be a background piece of jewellery that nobody really sees. Um, but no, it turns out to be quite important. So, here we have Grindelwald's vault. Pendant, and I'm gonna take it out just now. It's very, very nice looking. This is the first time I've seen it up close. So it is very, very nice, and it seems to have well, it's got an or kind of quite ornate uh, silver embellishments all around it, and within is a orb, a white orb. Changes colours in the movie though, and through th through it we have a wand. I don't think this comes out. It looks like it does, but it doesn't. I don't think. So it does. It, it yeah. I don't think it is. I don't think it does come out. Um, and obviously we have the massive chain right here. Uh, so it's very easy just to clip on. So this looks like it could be very very important later on, as far as I'm aware. Um, I'll be going, I'll, I'll say this spoiler in a few minutes, so I'll just let people that haven't seen the movie just see it first. <laughs> so, um, this little globe orb thing, in, in the movie it changes colours depending on what happens, but it was very, very nice, and I wasn't going to bother with this. Like I said, I thought it was just going to be something that, that Grindelwald wore that you never saw, that had no, um importance I guess it was just a bit of jewelry because they've done that before they've done they've made some things for characters that didn't really need to be made um but this is very very nice and I really like it look of it it's still got that deathly hell kind of vibe going on I think I, I think I know why though and okay I'll go into the spoilers now all right so if you haven't seen the movie the new Fantastic Beast 2 movie um bye <laughs> I'll sign off here but uh, if you have seen it, you will know, right, ready, three, two, one, 
that this is Grindelwald's and Dumbledore's blood pact right here. They made a blood pact where they could not fight each other, I think, as adults. I'm going to say that. So they made a blood pact never to actually confront one another, fight with each other. And this is the blood pact. And at the end of the movie, Newt delivers this to Dumbledore, confronts him about it, and Dumbledore says there might be a way to destroy it. So I think this is going to be the main focus for a couple, at least at least one of the next movies. So um, I hope um, I hope people that haven't seen the movie just skip that part. I gave them plenty of warning, but, and it's been about a week since the movie came out. So, but this is so I think this is going to be very important later down the line. Um, because this is proof that Grindelwald and Dumbledore were allies, possibly closer, um, and this is the reason why they cannot fight. This is the reason why it took Dumbledore so long to confront Grindelwald. And initially people thought from the books, from the Harry Potter books, that the reason Dumbledore didn't confront Grindelwald was because he didn't want to know, he didn't want it confirmed who fired the spell that killed his sister Ariana in their fight because there was a three-way fight between Dumbledore, Grindelwald and Aberforth, Dumbledore. So, and in the fight, Aberforth and Albus's sister Ariana got killed. And that's the reason why he didn't want to confront Grindelwald because he might have known who fired the spell that killed Ariana. And he didn't want it to be him. But I hope that, that, that this reason here, that the blood pact pendant hasn't replaced that Ariana kind of explanation for not confronting Grindelwald. Um, they can see, they could easily do both. They could easily have both as the reasons. He made a blood pact and he also doesn't want to find out if he was the one that killed his sister. Um, I Both both can work well with each other. I hope this doesn't replace that in retcon. It, I hope that it doesn't because it was a nice way. It showed Dumbledore was filled with regret and sorrow when he was deeply ashamed of his past mistakes. I like that aspect of Dumbledore's character. Um, to have it, if it was just replaced from a blood pack, that would kind of take away any... It would it would take away some depth to his character a little bit for me. Um, so I hope it doesn't replace it completely. I don't think it does. Um, I hope I just think this adds to it. I think this just adds to the fact that um, Dumbledore doesn't want to confront Grindelwald for that reason, and also the fact that they made a blood pact never to fight each other, so it makes it almost impossible. So, and then maybe at the end of the next movie, we'll see them destroy this and Dumbledore's like, okay, fine. Um, I, I can finally confront him. I just need to deal with my own feelings first. So, um, and that's very cool. I just noticed this as well. This right at the top here. What is that? I think this is upside down. So it's meant to be like this and it's meant to be like a, is that a, a G and a D? I think it's a mix of their initials, I think. That's very, very nice. I love that. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for me, I think. It's a very quick look at the pendant for Grindelwald. I think this is gonna be very important um, later down the line. Maybe, maybe a little bit anyway. Uh, I think it'll maybe take up some room from the side, uh, maybe a side story involving Dumbledore trying to destroy this in Hogwarts maybe, but who knows, they're not going to be filming the next one for a little while, so who knows, but yeah, um, I don't know if I was alone in thinking that you could pull this out, but you can't, and I don't really want to try too hard in case it, you know, breaks, um, you can't turn it, so I think it just stays, I think, I think it just stays, I'm happy with that, I'm not going to try and pull it out, it does look like you could pull it out, but I'm not going to try, <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's it for me guys. Um, I hope you liked it. I got this from Noble Collection directly and it was £49. Nine, £49. So uh, yeah, go over to Noble Collection if you like. Um, I'll, prob I'll probably include the link that I bought it from in the description. It's not sponsored, I just like to promote Noble Collection. I've been following them for about 10 years almost now. So yeah. Right guys, that's it for me. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Goodbye.